In today's video, we are going to have a second look at for loops in Python. Now, in the previous video, we had a quick look at how we can use for loops with the range function to count a sequence of numbers. Okay, what we're going to look at today with our for loops is we're going to look at making a list in Python. So a list of our three Queensland footy teams. And we're going to use a for loop to count those teams out and print them back to the user on the screen. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is create a list in Python. We're going to look at lists in a little bit more detail in the next few tutorials, but for now, lists are pretty straightforward. I just want you to write what I'm writing. So I'm going to write teams equals, and then inside square brackets, in quotation marks, we're going to write Broncos. Then we're going to put a comma, and back in a new set of quotation marks, we'll write Cowboys, put another comma, and then in the final set of quotation marks, uh, write the Titans and then close that list off with another square bracket. That there is how you create a list in Python. Okay, we've got a variable at the start called teams and inside that variable we've stored these three names, Broncos, Cowboys and Titans. I know in previous videos when we've been making variables up we've only stored one particular value like one word or one number but you can actually store multiple items inside a variable like we've done here okay so that's a list and as I said we will talk more about them in the next uh, few tutorials so once we've got a list what I want to do is I want to print out to the user the three Queensland footy teams okay so we could go like this we could go print and print the variable teams if I just save that I'll show you what that does okay it prints out pretty much what we've written up here. It prints out all the square brackets and quotation marks around the three footy teams. So while it's done its job, it's printed out the three Queensland footy teams, it hasn't made it look very nice. Okay, it's a little bit ugly. So there's a nicer way to print these out and that is by using a for loop. So if we remember back to a previous video, we start a for loop by writing the word for. Okay, let me zoom in a bit here so you can see this. Um, once we've written the word for, we set a variable up. So we're going to use the letter i. And i, its value is going to be the first item in the list, which is Broncos. Okay, but we'll come back to that in a moment. We write for i in teams, and then put a colon. On the next line, we simply print i. And that is our code done. So it's saying we've set up a for loop, and then i in teams is setting this variable i to the first item in teams. Then on the next line, this is the code that's going to be repeated or looped over. So we print the value of i. So it will print out the Broncos to start with. The next time we run the code, this i moves to the next value, which is Cowboys. So i will be set to Cowboys. And then it will run this code again where it prints Cowboys onto the screen. Our code loops over one more time and i will be set to Titans and it will print Titans onto the screen. When it realizes there's nothing else left in the um, list up the top here, okay, it jumps out of that loop, and if we had some more code down here, it would start running the rest of our program. All right, since there's no more code, it will just end our program once it's printed those three teams. So let's save it, run it, and you can see it prints out Broncos, Cowboys, Titans, and it looks a hell of a lot neater than having the square brackets and the quotation marks around it. All right, so that looks good. Um, if you want, maybe just up here, we could write print the three Queensland footy teams are. And then we could run the for loop, and that will just make it look a bit nicer. So let me just expand this. Now there's the three Queensland footy teams are, and then it lists them off. If you wanted to put them into bullet points, we could do that as well. So each time we print out this variable i, we could put quotation marks and a little asterisk first. Okay, and then write a plus sign after it. So an asterisk there inside quotation marks with a space after it, plus the variable i, so plus the footy team's name. Let's save that and see how it looks. There we go, the three Queensland footy teams are, and it's now got an asterisk at the start of each one, which makes it look a little bit better again. So there's lots of ways you can format your apps to make them look a bit nicer than they originally come out. Okay, but that's all I'm going to show you in this video. That's um, a list up the top, 
And as I said, we'll look at that in our next video in a bit more detail. But the list of the three Queensland footy teams, we're using a for loop to loop over this list one by one and print out the name of each footy team one by one. Okay, so it's another way of, I guess you could say counting in Python. It's counting each of the footy teams and then printing them out one by one. Okay, so that's another example of a for loop.